Hello Robert, how are you doing? This is Christian down here. I tried to look where the the, the 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 lens of the camera is. Well, well let's go with that. Um, as you can see, I'm not in my room. I'm somewhere else uh, in my parents' um, vacation house. We have outside of Santiago doing this video, so that's why I have, I have not done the video uh, right now. Um, so you ask us, you ask us to show um, a band that we think we everybody else should know but at least uh, give a shout out to a band that we think uh, deserves a little more, ex more ex exposure so i'm going to talk about my favorite band from denmark it's a uh, dad disneyland, uh, disneyland after dark um, a great uh, a fun band um, that i discovered in 1989 i think with uh, what, what, with their biggest uh, al biggest album um that that's um no fuel left for no few left for the pilgrims that it was um, the big release it was as i was telling you in 89 oh um so uh, let's let's talk, let's talk about a little bit about them and they were formed in 85 i think more or less 82 85 in the in copenhagen denmark of course the name uh, it was um, first it was disneyland, disneyland after dark disneyland uh, release um the first DP in '95 and has been together for more than 20 years. Right now, they had they they had only have uh, one um, band change. They started uh, with um, with uh, a Stig Pedersen on um, a bass, uh, Jesper Binzer on guitar and vocals, uh, Jacob Binzer on uh, guitar, lead guitar, <coughs> and Peter Lundhang Jensen on uh, drums. That's it. He stayed with the band and, uh, until 1999 when he was uh, replaced by uh, Laos Son, Son, something like or something like. Sorry if I'm but butchering his name. Uh, the band has um, uh, released uh, 12 albums, 12 albums, studio albums, and, and the last one is a player for the loud, and it was released in 2019. Uh, when the group uh, made their international breakout um, in 1989 they had to change the, the band name to DAD to avoid of course <laughs> an impending um, lawsuit from the Walt Disney Company. The album became the band's uh, greatest success and also uh, gave the band a million, a million dollar contract with uh, Warner Bros. They were signed with a big uh, major label in, in the States. In, in Denmark they were uh, signed to Mega uh, Metally, a small uh, Danish um, record company. Uh, the band was poised uh, for great success in the, in the States but the breakout didn't happen. The band uh, achieved some airplay with the single uh, "Sleeping My Day Away," but in the end, the band uh, gave up uh, on the chance of making it big in the in the in the in the USA and focused on the European market instead. Um, the, um, what the, the, they sound? They sound they um, they started playing more <coughs> like an alternative uh, kind of uh, rock uh, mixed with uh, some punk, some some. I, I even heard some surf uh, music. So they were uh, that that put uh, all together, to, and and the way they write the lyrics, uh, they were made up stories with where the abundance uh, cliche and. Uh, where are there uh, some some ironic twists so that make a, a very unique blend of music so the sound they created or they they play was in the in the beginning uh, known as cowpunk a very fun one but that was uh, morphing through the um, through the releases and in, in more more like in 89 and 90 in, in the early 90s when they were signed to um to warner bros they changed to a more hard rock a kind of glamish uh, sound also and maybe uh, because of, of, of the way they were they, they were presented in those albums with some some use of those glam um, things that were happening in the in, in the US market later in the, in the 90s they kind of changed a little bit the, the, the sound adapting a more alternative um, sound, sound adding that uh, tone to the to, uh, to the guitars uh, and and the way um, Jasper Beans uh, uh, sings made it sound a little bit more alternative, trying to um, catch up the, the, all the um, the alternative new wave um, kind of not 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 so grunge but trying to add a, bit, a little bit more of, of of that sound to 
of that um, whether it was trending to the, uh, to the sound but on the later uh, uh, two two or three studio albums they kind of returned to a little bit more um, hard harder sound and a little bit more metallic sound that made it even better out um, to uh, to them uh, at least to us the fans of course they have some uh, cool uh, uh, power ballads but all in the in a in a very twisted dad uh, way uh, here I have some of the um, of, of my CD because as, as as you can see I'm not in my in my house I'm carrying some uh, CDs on, on on this CD wallet and all of these uh, five CDs I have to thank my good friend uh, Kim at This Is Music he was very generous sending me the, uh, these five C these five uh, DAD CDs because of course they're in Denmark uh, they were cheap to to find at second hand. Um, uh, uh, stores. So here we have uh, some early stuff. This is a uh, DAD Call of the Wild. Sorry about about the glare. I don't know if you can see it. DAD. Then we have DAD uh, draw draw a circle. I think that's no. Well, there it goes. Then we have uh, help. Uh, help your selfish. This is another one. Then we have the DAD soft dogs, and then we have DAD everything glows. That's how they they are spelling the the uh, the name uh, right now. They started like this, as you can see, uh, DAD, and now that's how they are spelling their name. If you want to. They find them out in the in on on their website. That's how they they are um, spelling their their name uh, right now. So um, that's my entry, Robert. Um, hope you like it. Sorry it took me uh, so long uh, to do my entry. Uh, as you can see, I have been not have I have not been in my house for at least uh, three weeks, more or less. So I decided to jump finally and do in video because it, it's taking a bit a little bit longer to go back to my house. So um, and thanks uh, to you for having this this contest just because you wanted to have. Also, thanks again to Kim for um, sending me this uh, really cool um, DAD uh, CDs. I'm, I am I am enjoying them very much. Um, so that's it. I uh, hope you like uh, DAD. I uh, hope you give them a try. They are a fun band uh, uh, to listen they, with very clever uh, lyrics, very um, ironic lyrics uh, and some fun things. <laughs> some fun um, thing or uh, trivia about the, uh, the lyrics. They are all written in the, with using the same font in every album from the third one, uh, no, re no, fuel rest, no Fuel Left for the Pilgrims until the last one, I think. The font they use uh, when they uh, write the lyrics are all the same. I don't know why, but it's it's a cool thing. So that's it. Um, that's more than enough. Robert, thank you, thank you for having this contest. This is Christian down here, not in Santiago, but in Chile, saying goodbye. Till next time. Bye bye.